offerings for the sanctuary. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Tell the sons of Israel to take a contribution for me. From everyone whose heart moves him you shall take my contribution. This is the contribution which you are to take from them, gold, silver, and bronze, violet, purple, and scarlet material, fine linen, goat hair, ram skins dyed red, fine leather, acacia wood, oil for lighting, balsam oil for the anointing oil and for the fragrant incense, onyx stones and setting stones for the ephod and for the breastpiece. Have them construct a sanctuary for me, so that I may dwell among them. According to all that I am going to show you as the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all its furniture, so you shall construct it. Ark of the Covenant. Now they shall construct an ark of acacia wood two and a half cubits long, one and a half cubits wide, and one and a half cubits high. You shall overlay it with pure gold, inside and out you shall overlay it, and you shall make a gold molding around it. You shall also cast four gold rings for it and fasten them on its four feet. Two rings shall be on one side of it, and two rings on the other side of it. And you shall make poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold. You shall put the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark, to carry the ark with them. The poles shall remain in the rings of the ark. They shall not be removed from it. You shall put into the ark the testimony which I shall give you. And you shall make an atoning cover of pure gold, two and a half cubits long and one and a half cubits wide. You shall make two cherubim of gold. Make them of hammered work at the two ends of the atoning cover. Make one cherub at one end and one cherub at the other end. You shall make the cherubim of one piece with the atoning cover at its two ends. And the cherubim shall have their wings spread upward, covering the atoning cover with their wings and facing one another. The faces of the cherubim are to be turned toward the atoning cover. Then you shall put the atoning cover on top of the ark, and in the ark you shall put the testimony which I will give to you. There I will meet with you. And from above the atoning cover, from between the two cherubim which are upon the ark of the testimony. I will speak to you about every commandment that I will give you for the sons of Israel. Bread of the Presence. You shall also make a table of acacia wood, two cubits long and one cubit wide, and one and a half cubits high. You shall overlay it with pure gold and make a gold border around it. And you shall make for it a rim of a hand width around it. And you shall make a gold border for the rim around it. You shall also make four gold rings for it and put rings on the four corners which are on its four legs. The rings shall be close to the rim, as holders for the poles to carry the table. And you shall make the poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold, so that with them the table may be carried. You shall also make its dishes, its pans, its jars, and its libation bowls with which to pour drink offerings. You shall make them of pure gold. And you shall set the bread of the presence on the table before me continually. The golden lampstand. Then you shall make a lampstand of pure gold. The lampstand, its base and its shaft, are to be made of hammer work. Its cups, its bulbs, and its flowers shall be of one piece with it. Six branches shall go out from its sides. Three branches of the lampstand from its one side and three branches of the lampstand from its other side. Three cups shall be shaped like almond blossoms on the one branch, a bulb and a flower, and three cups shaped like almond blossoms on the other branch, a bulb and a flower. The same for six branches going out from the lampstand. And on the lampstand four cups shaped like almond blossoms, its bulbs and its flowers. A bulb shall be under the first pair of branches coming out of it, and a bulb under the second pair of branches coming out of it, and a bulb under the third pair of branches coming out of it, for the six branches coming out of the lampstand. Their bulbs and their branches shall be of one piece with it. All of it shall be one piece of hammered work of pure gold. Then you shall make its lamps seven in number, and they shall mount its lamps so as to shed light on the space in front of it. Its tongs and its trays shall be of pure gold. It shall be made from a talent of pure gold, with all these utensils. See that you make them by the pattern for them, which was shown to you on the mountain.